Hi crafters, welcome to the Geo Square Granny Blanket. The Geo Square Granny Blanket just starts as the usual granny square, then you add more rolls to make it a blanket. So you add as many rolls as you want to make the desired size. I used a scrap yarn from another granny square blanket. You can check it out on my Instagram page, Stitches and Interiors. It was a baby themed granny square blanket. Today as well, I'll be using the yarn left over from this blanket to illustrate how to make this square. The pattern for this square is in a chart. This chart shows the symbols for the crochet stitches used to make this uh, square. I'll make a tutorial later on showing how to read crochet stitches in a chart, the symbols. So we have three ways of printing your crochet pattern, either in a chart or it's written or abbreviations or you may have a YouTube tutorial or a video tutorial. I'll post the chart as well. For those who can read symbols, they can easily follow through using that chart. So you can just take a screenshot of it and use it instead of watching the whole video. However, for beginners, I'll take you through step by step on how to make the GF square blanket. I have my four millimeter hook and some scrap yarn. We'll start by making a circle, this circle. To make the circle, you make a slip knot. This goes back to our crochet basics, a slip knot. Then from there, you chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. In the chart, chain stitches are represented by circles or ovals. That's the, how you know you're supposed to make a chain stitch. From then, we'll make a slip stitch to make our chain stitches into a round or a ring. So to do this slip stitch onto the first stitch you made. There you go. Then from there, we are going to chain three. This chain three acts as our double crochet because we want our square to, go, to have corners. If I was making something spiral, there'd be no need of making the chain stitch. From there, we're going to double crochet into the circle. 15 double crochets. So in total, you'll have 16 double crochets. Remember, the chain three acts as a double crochet. So I'll crochet 15, double crochets into that circle here are my 15 double crochets and to close off this round again we'll slip stitch into that first double crochet there you go and from this point, this will form one corner of our square. After slip stitching, you chain three. One, two, three. Then from there, you chain two. One, two. Then skip one double crochet. So you double crochet into the next one. Then from here again, you chain two. One, two, then double, skip one double crochet and then double crochet into the next. Now onto that double crochet, you're going to add two more double crochets. This is the second one and then a third. So basically the pattern is three double crochets, chain two, one double crochet, chain two onwards and onwards so that we form this pattern you can see 
probably we started from here the chain three this is where it is then you chain two then from there one double crochet and then you skip one double crochet chain two then into the next double crochet you're going to make three double crochets into that one then chain two again skip one double crochet then double crochet into the next so let me just illustrate again after those three we'll chain two one two then skip one double crochet and double crochet into the next one after that chain two then skip one double crochet double crochet three into the next one one two three it is so eventually we'll have these four corners one two three one two three four or three double crochets then in the middle we'll have one single double crochet four of them continuing on with our pattern chain two then double crochet skip one double crochet then double crochet into the next one just one then chain two then remember when we started our row we made three chains so to complete our pattern into that same hole we make two more double crochets so that we have our set of three Good. then after that again a single sorry you slip stitch into that first stitch there is our first row of the geo square of the geo granny square the beauty with this pattern is you can change your color either by row or by a certain set of, of rows maybe one two three four then you change to another color one two three four then to another color in my case i just arranged them according to how much yarn i had left and i did my best to match the colors so from the purples onwards to the green then to a bit of the neutral colors and then finally with the bright colors moving on to our next row we'll chain three to start out this row then chain two this chain two remember the chain three acts as a double crochet then chain one sorry double crochet one and to the this head of the double crochet then chain two then chain double crochet one into that first double crochet we have three from the previous row on the next one we double crochet five one two three four and five and then we'll have one on that last double crochet so this uh, double crochets are going to form the corner of our pattern so with each row we'll be increasing by four double crochets our first one was three double crochets then the next one is seven so the difference is seven minus three you add four the next one will have eleven so what you do is you just find the middle double crochet and then into that double crochet you crochet five then chain two then one double crochet chain two then one double crochet into that first double crochet from the previous row I had knotted my yarn and usually I just hide the ends into the stitch here we have five double crochets four and five there's another corner then one double crochet into that last double crochet 
chain 2 then double crochet chain 2 then again 1 then 5 3 4 5 and then 1 on the last one so it's just a repeat all through chain 2 double crochet chain 2 then double crochet into that first one then 5 into the next one two, 3 4 5 then to finish off that row with a slip stitch into the first double crochet so here's our second set of double crochet the progress we've made so far you can see the square is coming into shape there are four corners okay the next row again chain three then chain two then double crochet into the first one then chain two then double crochet into the first two so you have to find the middle this is three and three this is the middle so this one will have five of them sorry so we are going to double crochet into the first three two three then onto the fourth one we'll make five double crochets one two three four five and the next one is a single double crochet and the second one and on the third so this increase is what makes our our granny square to grow if we didn't have this increase it would have shrunk it would have just been at the same size it wouldn't have grown then also the shape wouldn't be maintained the next double crochet chain two double crochet into the first the second the third then into the next one five of them one two three four five so, so far we have two corners two remaining so i'll continue on and meet you at the end of our square this is the end to another row again remember to slip stitch into your first chain three then just continuing on again with the same pattern chain three then chain two then double crochet one double crochet again then chain two again we have to find our middle the first difference we had was one the next one was three the next one will be five one two three four five one two three four five so our middle stitch is this one and we're going to crochet five of them five double crochets into this double crochet uh, our variation from each row is three to seven to eleven from eleven plus four fifteen nineteen onwards let me just show you how the next row will be so this one we are doing we are crocheting five single double crochets and onto the sixth one we'll have five double crochets I've double crocheted five into that space then the next one, one, two, 
X-ray. So there we have it, another corner done. We'll just repeat this pattern all through. I've made two corners of the square, this one and this one, but it's just a repeat of what we've been doing on each row. So we'll just increase at the center. The center double crochet you make five, center double crochet make five. So the difference is three, seven, eleven, fifteen, nineteen, so on, so on. Every row has a difference of four stitches from the previous row and you just continue crocheting till your blanket is the size you'd like then you can switch up the colors and make interesting patterns with these uh, stitches and this geo square pattern thank you very much for watching till the end i hope you enjoyed making this granny square it's beginner friendly it's also super easy and versatile so please remember to support my channel by liking sharing commenting and subscribing see you on the next one crafters